Stafford here with Adventure Kiteboarding. I want to show you a golf bag so you can decide which golf bag is best for you on your trip. So we have the Crazy Fly 150, 150 centimeter, Mystic 150, uh, NP Cabrino 155, and the Crazy Fly 140. So the differences in these bags I'll show you. For example, the Mystic is a little deeper, so you can fit more things into it. It's, it's sort of uh, just got more room. It's got compression straps, and I'll show you what I put inside just to give you an example. So, this particular bag doesn't have a tremendous amount of padding. It's going to rely on you to pack appropriately to get the bag protected well. The bottom is padded down here, the back, and the bottom here, but not the sides or the top. So, you able to put a harness, 17 meter kite, and a 146 board in there, piece of cake. No problems with that. It comes with a couple of compression bags to shrink down your kites and, and make them nice and small. And a little pump that comes with it to suck the air out of those compression bags. But again, just a little padding on the bottom, padding on the back, padding on the feet. And that's what you get with this bag. So it packs up kind of small, it's kind of light. It's a little less uh, expensive than some of the others but a little less padding. So the one with the most padding is the Crazy Fly. This is the 150 bag. As you can see, it's a little more rectangular shape. It does say golf bag on the side. It does say golf bag there. So that's good at the airport. This particular bag, I put in a couple of kites, 17 meter, 11 meter, and another 140 Two board went in no problem, could have fit a one, 150 in there, but you can see this bag has padding all around. It's a little more rectangular shaped, so if you have a board that's more square through the tips, this might be a better bag than the Mystic because the Mystic tapers. It tapers towards the top. This one's more rectangular, so it fits a little better that way. Overall, still a light bag with good padding. Next up, the biggest one of the bunch the NP, which is the parent company of Cabrina. This is a 155. This is a very well padded bag. A little bit of taper to the top, so not quite as wide as the Crazy Fly, but plenty of room in it because it's still pretty rectangular. This one says Pro Tour Golf on it in a couple of places, so that's good at the airport. And what I stacked in here just to show you the size of this bag Alright, so in here we have a 137 board fully assembled and a 134 board fully assembled and a 146 board, just the deck, fit in there no problem. You can see fully padded top, sides, back, bottom. So this overall is going to be the biggest bag lengthwise if you have a big board. This is the 155. So nobody's making a 165 anymore because the airlines apparently don't take the height anyway. So 155 is the best you're going to do in a golf bag size. All right, and I can toss them around because they're tough and durable. This is the smallest, most portable one that's still popular for a lot of people. This is the Crazy Fly 140 without wheels. It does have a way that you can strap it up and carry it though. So that makes it a little easier. Some people don't want the wheels, they don't want the extra weight. Still a pretty rectangular bag, padded all around. So what you have is, again, no problem fitting the 17 meter kite, and just squeezed in here, a little on the tight side, was a 140 board. The 140 did fit in there, but it's tight. It didn't leave a lot of extra room. So this one is pretty nice and easy to carry around, uh, single, single handle. It's just lightweight and light duty. And then, what pops out of here, you can set it up with backpack straps so you can carry this as a backpack. And some people, again, really like that. They don't want the wheels. So, choose the bag that's best for you and which one will fit best for your gear. Stafford at AdventureKiteboarding.com.